that as a clip, please. Hey there, either holder, and welcome to the Narjan Reacts. In this, we're reacting to The Owl House Season 2, Episode 11. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Hola, mama. Hello, Luz. I don't want me staying in the demon realm, but I'm recording this because I think we can find a middle ground. This uh -huh. is a world of magic and beauty. Just look. Let me show you my girlfriend. Just kidding. I, I know this next episode was supposed to be something horrifying for Hootie, but, um... That's not what I had in mind. You know, we've... We've seen the... the we've seen the graph uh, in the previous episode of Hootie's insides and, like, how he has teeth, like, down his gullet and two stomachs and whatever. So... I was not expecting him to look like this, where I don't even see... Did he take out his skeletal and leave all his organs and stuff on the... And this made it past Disney sensors, but other stuff did... Okay. No. <laughs> I... Nightmare... Nightmare tear. I actually don't want to look. No! Why just zoom up? Why just zoom up? I hate you guys. I hate you. Moving on. Moving on. Well, Luz, why don't you look more horrified? Why don't you look more traumatized? That. Nah, I think that is the worst thing I've seen in a series in a long while. Like, not series, movie series, period. Ew! Nah, that was like. <laughs> I was, if I get nightmares. Mm mm. Mm mm. That. Okay. It, it can't get worse than that, right? With Hootie? Please tell me it doesn't. Is that what? Oh, I'm even learning magic. And as a human, it impresses pretty much everyone. Except Basha. <laughs> Deserve. If you ever do that again, I will set your eyes on fire. It's okay. It's safe in this world. It's all right, Mama. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. I love how she puts it out, and her hair is fine. The demon realm can be a little uh, dangerous. But there's no safer place than Hexide School of Magic and Demons. Are you sure about that? Right, Principal Bump. Mm. He's <laughs> he's fixing up the tail. That's cute. Which is why we send all our troublemakers to our new and improved detention. Oh no. You might not want to show this, Luce. You might want to turn off the recording right now. Oh, please, no. Help me. That's enough of that. You're you're not helping your case at all, Luce. Like at all at all at all. Also, you know what's funny is one of you mentioned that Amity's hair changed after the episode that her hair went purple and I didn't even notice that in the intro this whole time until you said that. <laughs> Anything else obvious I haven't missed right now? Huh? Something- Wait, what was that flash? Hold up. No. What was that flash? Anything there? Huh? Anything hidden? No? Okay. Good. Anything. I'm watching. No. No. All right, we're good. Oh wait, King's horn is fixed too, I think, right? Yeah, I think his horn was fixed. Bali's at the Coven Day Parade. Uh-oh, we got the Coven Day Parade. How's that gonna go? Maybe he's so handsome, people have a hard time focusing on what he says. No, that's Principal Bump. I get it, I can relate. You can. Dana, whoever made this decision, you, you, you know what you were doing, showing this again. I thank Luke, you. You've seen Bellos up close. What's he like under all that? Uh, she never got to see his face. Not yet. Oh, I never got a good look. I heard he's scarred. 
Hi. Hi. Hi, Amity. Hard from wild magic. <laughs> She's so <laughs> Lou's still free. That, that's like, oh my god, that's like the scene, oh, what was it, what episode where she did the same thing where Amity scared her and she like fell over, except this time she's not blushing because they're an item. Oh, Amity. Hola, batata. What's batata mean? I feel like it's something really cute, batata. That's, uh, it sounds cute. Did you just call me a sweet potato? <gasps> she got her sweet potato. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, I'm still figuring out this human language book from Gus. Oh. Oh, wait, Mama Pura's recipe. <laughs> <She's>, she, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be an actual like language book, not freaking recipe book. I'm not gonna lie, the batata is cute. Aw, Amity, Give you're me. the <laughs> sweet potato. Uh, so she's a purple potato, <laughs> which can still be sweet. <laughs> Does she know about high fives too? Um, oh, uh, might want to ease up on. Promise me, when you come home, you'll. You're gonna make her cry me. again. Never go back. Okay, mom. I promise. I'm gonna leave Amity and everyone behind for you. No, you better not. Uh, <laughs> her eye pupils are just going everywhere. I haven't used the door yet. <laughs> she pushes herself away. Poor Amity. I mean, poor Luz. But also poor Amity, because if that, if she, if Luz. What is that facial expression I pause for Luz? Eh, never mind. Albert! Later, taters! Later, <gasps> her a kiss on the cheek. Ah! Ah! Yes! More! More, 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 more! I love how Amity's... <sighs> oh, you left her phone. Uh-oh. That turns people into obedient zombies. Um, not an actual charm. <laughs> this looks like she's ready about to cry. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold up. With me and you'll never Whoa, I didn't want it to go back that far. No. Emperor's knickknacks, Emperor's empanadas. I wonder what those would taste like, actually. Bounty, abomination. Who's underneath that one cloak? The tall one. They've got, like, pointed ears. Uh, it's just a fancy way to kiss the Emperor's... Disney. Disney XX are listening. You don't want to say that. Mother, please. No, I'm not seeing anyone. Kiki has a mom? I mean, I, okay. I know she would have parents, but it just seems that <laughs> she's talking to her mom. Yes, I am standing up straight. Listen, I can't come home. So I bet she has a strict mom. Nope, don't you dare make me feel for Kiki. I don't like her and I don't want to feel bad for her, okay? Mother, mother. Oh, let's make Louis think about her mom. So even Kiki deals with mom issues. Is that a ghost? What? No, I'm talking about hot. Oh, look, he's got a little Francois. He has a Francois mustache. <laughs> King. Ida hired someone. To I saw rain on there. I saw rain I photo. Spy on her ex. <gasps> Did you? Oh. <laughs> she's spying on rain. Oh. <gasps> Freaking loose. She's like, I'm going to ship them and write a fanfic. Oh, well, you okay? Good job. You broke loose. It was the <laughs> yeast I could do. Click King off right now. <laughs> Push him off. And then? Rain whispers, Rain. status, active, title, head witch, bard covenant, palisman, unknown, master of all manners of instruments from the guiscar to the organ. Likes spicy food, favorite movie, die bar too. <laughs> Rain when they were little. <gasps> Look in their arms and arms with Ida, and then they got Lilith looking miserable in the background with Dongo or empanadas. No, it's gotta be Dongo, right? Ah, oh, then they're so cute. <laughs> it's just like Hagadi and Azor. A freaking king playing the music. Wait, what? What did? Wait, what did Lou say? It's just like Hagadi and Azor and Book Five. Hecarina Zero in book five. I just realized Luz just said Hecate and Azura. Hecate sounds like Amity and Azura sounds like Luz. Kinda. Luzura. Luzura. Is that foreshadowing when it says Hecate save Azura? Is Amity gonna save Luz? No, she touch it there. According to this, they were seen as a traitor. 
Maybe you can ask them about it. <gasps> What did Bellows do to Rain, though? Because last we left off, Rain had the... Kiki did the thing with the bard symbol. And... <laughs> Is Rain going to be, like, under Bellows' control? Uh, we need someone on the inside to lend us a hand. Hmm. That's a... Th <laughs> Lucy's... <laughs> Wait, who's on it? <gasps> Hunter? No, you know, I was going to say Kiki, but I thought, why Kiki when Kiki... It's not like you've even had a bonding moment with Kiki. Unless Luz bonds with Kiki in this episode. That's going to be different. Um, How is that going to work out? I was thinking Hunter. Oh. <laughs> Face plant sound. Can I... No, can we get a clip of that? Can I, can I like, get that replayed over and over? That is a clip, please. <laughs> Anytime Kiki pisses me off, I want that. Or not piss me off, but bothers me. Oh, you didn't step on her? Shoot. What is that freaking face? Are you trying to compete with Hootie with the smile, like, I got a plan smile? As if she'd give us the time of day. <laughs> okay, that's it. Luz really does have the power of friendship speech stuff. I can't. I'd be banished from Palm Stings and the family. Palm Stings. Banished from my life. Aw, poor Kiki. Push her into the puddle. Maybe there's a way we can help each other out. Nope. <laughs> he is like, are you, what are you, nuts? And not the hot kind of bad. Not the hot kind of bad. Eat it into them bad people? <laughs> I don't know, you gotta think for rain. Rain is far from bad. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Rain. Are you? I'm You're sweating. Just a sucker for romantic reunions? Uh huh. Mm hmm. This is true. BS warning's going off. What are you Cretans planning? Cretans? Kikimura. We are gonna help you by kidnapping you and Rain. What? what? I'm sorry, did that say soak and linen? Ew. Thanks, Morton. How many elixirs do you need? Hey, Hootie. You know, I was about to say, is that the Echo Mouse? But never mind, we know that Echo Mouse survived. That's how many times I was sent to the healing coven. Ooh, how many times? Wait, ah. are these legal? Would no. Would make you more or less interested in buying them? <laughs> I'll tell you whatever you want to hear as long as you buy it. The coven can't banish Kiki if she's missing. She'll get the best of- You're, I think, cracking it loose. Both worlds. She'll set an example for us all. <laughs> Especially me. <laughs> Which, this is peak of Mount Romance. Hootie, what uh -huh. you know? I've been around. Who do you, who have you been with? Huh, must have left my phone at the Owl House. <sighs> no, you left it with Amity. Oh, Willow doing weights. Yeah, I guess it has. Are Awkward. you And she left her foon. Uh, floon? Did she just say floon? <laughs> Wait, I want to see what's Willow's background. Okay, y'all have plants. Plant, plant, plant. Leaves. First or something. Photo of, oh look she's got a photo of her and Luce hugging, got a photo of her and Luce and Gus, the new phase of Flyer Derby, Flyer Derby. Cute. Fun Wait. Is that is that little bed for the bee and it, did she name it Clover? That'd be freaking cute if she did. Uh, her thingy at school and Oh <laughs> the face plant. Uh, you need to slow down for me. Luce <laughs> says she hasn't been- I'm not gonna invade her privacy like that. Ye Would you? Sure, click. <laughs> I'm not I'm not like in a relationship with her or anything, so you know, I could do it if you want me to. There's something you have to do for me what? first. Do you still know how to braid hair? Oh. Okay. <laughs> her little feetsies. <laughs> this is so cute. I can't believe I let them talk me into this. Talked you into what? R rain. Oh, hey, Rain. Waving to people. People. <laughs> <laughs> people I know, right? Ew. You seem so much more calm than before. Plant. Plant Coven? Well, why wouldn't they be? Yay! You get to see Plant Coven, lady! But thanks to me, they're good as new. 
Tara. What did you do to Rain? And oh, so Tara. I was about to say Tara's name is Tara. So a plant lady's name is Tara. Of course it would be Tara freaking. Thing with these ugh, headaches. What did you do to Rain? Here, Sprout. Drink your tea. Don't drink it! Nah! Sus! Everything. You're not trying to leave, are you? No! Never mind, maybe I don't like Tara. <laughs> I was thinking maybe, maybe Tara will be one of the ones that'll be like good ish. Like Rain. Well, Rain's good, good. But like, not exactly Rain, but like half good. Uh, never mind. Then again, Kiki, Kiki's suddenly become like good ish, and I wasn't expecting that at all, so. Illusion Coven. Oh, it's you! Such. Such grandiose music. <laughs> Poor Rain. I, that would be me in a nutshell. If I had to go and pre perform on a stage like, ugh, oh my god. Nope, not for me. It's almost time. Her freaking watch is king. Not bad, right? It's so. Oh my god, he's too piloting it. Really? Okay. It's a work of art. It's a work of art. That was a signal. Huh? Of course, she wouldn't be confident enough to jump. She just like, you know, I'll just slide down, uh, or not at all. I can't get down. Close. Yeah, you literally, you like did all this stuff with with Hunter, like running from Hunter and things without an issue. But now all of a sudden, you've lost your nerve. Ew! Who the fudge? Who has that watch? Uh, of course, it would be Hootie. Three. And that's his tongue. More like Bulos. Of course you hang nails. I you hang nails. It's because hang nails are small and annoying. I wonder though if Rain does remember any of that stuff. Is Rain gonna fight against them? Ah! Oh no! I've been kidnapped. What was me? I, Hecate, will really, you just named yourself Hecate? You couldn't have said Azura. Wait, does that mean that worlds are reversing and that means Lucy's gonna be Hecate, which Hecate saves Azura, so does it mean Lucy's gonna save it? Never mind, I'm not looking further into this. Hey, come on. I didn't know Played I up more. Uh oh, is Amni gonna screw this up? Amni. How are you two gonna get out, though? How do we get out of here? We're gonna have to be sneaky. What the fudge is that? I don't want to know. Please. Kill that monstrosity. <laughs> Not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what the fudge? I'm so glad you're okay. Watch Ida, out. We haven't spoken in years. <gasps> I would instantly be like, "All right, what they do to you? What did they? What? Nope, something's off." Listen. And I can't associate with- All right, time to, time, time to tie up Rain and take them <laughs> into custody. Wild witches anymore. Hold them captive. So move aside. Fight, fight, fight. No. Yes. Yes. We can do this. Let's just try not to make too big of a scene that draws attention, please. It's the hard way. And gets you both in trouble. <laughs> uh, you too. Hootie. Oh my gosh, it's working. Oh, so you're gonna have Rain and Ida have their fight. You're gonna have Amity. What's gonna happen with Amity and Luce? Uh oh. Wait, I just realized we still have like nine minutes. What's gonna happen? If we're caught, she will end us. Wait, she? Tara? End us. Uh oh. You might wanna hold your breath again. Plant lady. Of course, she'd be in a Venus flytrap. Tara snap. Dragon. Oh, Snapdragon. Okay. Terra Snapdragon. I like the last name, Snapdragon. That's okay. That's cool. Like, I know that's the actual name of like a plant. Is legal now. <laughs> oh my god, Udi. I love this. I am your god! <laughs> am your god. <laughs> oh my god, Udi. And right before. Oh no. Wait. If she's Terra, like earth and plants, she might be able to feel the vibration of like them walking, I don't know. She knows, she knows. 
The shiny new badge? Can you please don't fall for this? Amity? No, Amity, you're not gonna fight. Please don't. Amity? Okay, it is Amity. You remembered my favorite part. Yes, but right now. The sweat drop. Like, yeah, I remember, but now's not the time, honey. <laughs> Again. Again. Did you really just leave the cape there? What if they had like tracking hounds or something that could sniff? I was actually gonna have a nice shot there with the lighting. Ooh, now we're seeing card magic use for funny. A headache. How have you two not drawn any attention at this point? I love how freaking like Luce and Kiki are being sneaky as can be invisible and stuff and they're almost being found, but you have these two fighting out like all rain and thunder and lightning and stuff and it's just like no way. Why won't you just leave me alone? Oh. Oh. Move. Please. Please. So be it. I think I heard something right. over here. Head witch, are you there? Surround the area. He is going to have to let Rain go. Rain is still going to let Ida go. Just don't contact me again. I work for the Emperor, after all. Head witch, are you hurt? No, not bad. Only in the emotion in my heart. It's here. No! Bump couldn't keep her at his place anymore. <sighs> Wonder why. Isn't it great? You'll see everyone at the reunion, and when you return, you can brag about your daring. <laughs> like treating Kiki like a best friend now. Escape! You're walking proof. Luce, you're putting yourself in Kiki's place, literally. That you don't have to choose between worlds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amity's not buying this shtick at all. Amity's just like, mm-hmm. You really are a kind person. Yeah, now go. <laughs> and an utter. Fool! <laughs> what? Home stings can burn for all I care. You heard Terra. They want to promote me. Oh, I knew you should have stepped on her when she fell over. Should have killed Princess too. You're the little fire starter from Eclipse Lake. Wow, and Princess turns on. Okay. Nope. 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 Steam. Don't don't either of you sacrifice or sacrifice yourself for the other like freaking Azura and Hackity. I like that they're combining their spells together. Whoa! Haha! -ha. I hope you fall in the ocean safe and drown. Or oh, never mind. You're welcome. I mean, <laughs> dang it. Ah, ah. Amity just goes. <sighs> Ew, that's her full mouth. Oh. Willow or Terra? Oh, Wait. Is Terra gonna actually turn out to be like an insider spy? I wasn't sent here to watch over Rain. I was sent here to watch over you. I was sent here to watch over you. Mm-hmm. Did I pass? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, unfortunately. So <laughs> E. No, I, I you're cute, you act cute and stuff, but you're a biatch. I don't like you. You get nothing to live. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Tara wanted her to betray, so Tara would have a reason to like kill her or something. Can you just keep her under there for long enough that bubbles don't come up anymore, and we'll be good. Until then, happy coven day. Happy coven day. At least neither of them got taken. Amity, Amity, Amity! You saved me! How can I make it up to you? A kiss? Maybe you okay. can tell me about this? Be honest. It looks like it didn't go well. How could you tell? <laughs> I'm sorry. Tell me what happened. Okay. So. And then all of a sudden you hear in the background, like, after a few seconds of her telling all of a sudden you hear Amity go, What? <laughs> oh my god, the bell. <laughs> They're little evil giggles. 
Yeah, you happy now, Kiki? Has an announcement to make. Uh oh. What is this gonna be? Wait, there's that- that's the thing from the episode with- with Hunter's, like, identity reveal that was, like, giving, like, that look that I pointed out. I think he's weird. System as the Titan intended, the mm -hmm. dead unity will be- Oh, they're actually in that town! Okay, makes sense now. They're in the town where that- okay. The worthy shall inherit a utopia free- Utopia. Oh, I hear where this is going. ...of wild magic. This doesn't... Free of wild magic. Free? Free? What, are you gonna kill everything that's not... Oh, I don't like this! <gasps> <laughs> it's like, eh, not that big of a reveal. What's gonna happen? I... I'm not sure. But for now, we'll take things for Foreshadowing, foreshadowing, foreshadowing. Also, you two holding hands. But I don't like the foreshadowing! I don't like it! <laughs> I'm scared. Oh look, we got we got King with his new ability and uh Ida with, with her um Oh, and we have Mom Mom Moose and what's her name? Oh, I don't know. I'm not ready for these. I'm not ready for the remaining of the season. I feel like I'm next season. I feel like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Anyway, let me let me get into my thoughts. Okay, so my thoughts for this episode. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know what? The little ETP. Okay, first to start off, freaking Hootie Nightmare, man. That Nightmare Fuel beginning shot, that is... And they, you know that they knew that they really, like, messed up. Like, they really gave us something horrifying because they even, like, when Luz went to her phone, that was the first thing they popped up again. They're like, hey, you think that was creepy? Let's do it again. We're gonna, you think that was done and gone? Here it is again. <laughs> right in the next, like, scene. Um, so you had that. Um, like, that aside... You got them tricking us into thinking, wow, is Kiki actually going to turn to their side? And then, haha, of course not. She's going to remain a beesh. And as soon as I was thinking, maybe, because I know I know the uh, Owl House community or fandom is known for, like, leading reactors, like, off. Like, they'll say one thing when they actually, something else is, like, going to happen or blah, blah, blah. So when some of you were saying that, oh, they're, mo don't worry, most of the, like, antagonists slash villains are not redeemable in the story. I thought, okay, maybe they were fibbing with that and Kiki will actually be someone that is turned around. So it'd be kind of funny that I've been like dissing her this whole time. And all of a sudden, yeah, she actually turns out to be good. She's got a actually real tough like mom or background or something like that. So I thought, okay, that's where we're going. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I heard Tara start throwing out the promotion stuff and everything, and that's what Ki when Kiki like kind of like, like froze, like, wait a minute. I'm like, nah, she she's still... Like, we've seen that she's got an ego, and she's all about herself. So the fact that she switches at the end is like, oh, where my family lives, they could burn for all I care. I'm gonna go. I want a promotion. Like, holy. Nah, Kiki. Mm -mm. I, I was like, I'm, I'm like, why, I swear, if I have to eat my words and, like, feel bad for all the times I said she should have been, like, stepped on or squished or whatever or, or d killed, I'm, I'm like, please don't make me feel bad for that. So, yeah, good. I'm glad my my thing for her was not misplaced. My my dislike of her. Like, I wouldn't say I hate her. I just, I don't like her. She's, uh, she's that little, little egotistic, just a little gnat that I just want to squish. <laughs> I don't like her. Um, but I'm not sure about Tara. Like, Tara seems like, I don't think Tara's fully good. I mean, maybe... I kind of wonder if some of the coven heads are going to switch sides once they see what Bellows has planned. Because Bellows is, I'm 99% certain, has been lying to them all and is saying that, oh, we're going to create unity and utopia and everything. When actually what Bellows wants is all the power for himself. So I feel like there are going to be some coven heads that are going to swap sides once they see that and fight for the right side, the good side and everything. So I wonder if Tara is going to be one of them. But I don't know. Like, I feel like, obviously, Rain is... A good person so but they're just under the mind stuff or whatever tara has been giving him for tea um i feel like maybe the the beast beast uh keeper one you got darius i don't know about darius maybe darius tara maybe i i, I mean we haven't really seen any of the other coven heads yet 
Um, uh, we've seen, we've seen Terra. Uh, I forgot the Peacekeeper one. We got Darius. We got Rain. Um, and I think that's it so far. So we still have, I think, three or four others to see. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I got, I'm glad we got to see, like, we got to see Terra at least. Um, uh, I feel like we got some foreshadowing possibly of what might happen with Luce and Amity, like, with sacrifice. And I'm like, I don't like this foreshadowing at all. Like, I really hope that's, I feel like, like, I know one of them would sacrifice themselves for the other. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm not ready for this, 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 the series finale in the sense, but also kind of not because it was canceled. So I'm not ready for these last, not last. I mean, they are, guess what? This is episode 11. So we got about 10. No, because there's three episodes in season three. So it's 12 episodes left. I'm not, I don't think I'm ready for this. I feel like stuff's going to really pick up and, and get serious real fast in the next like couple episodes, at least. I don't know. Something tells me, and I'm not going to be ready for it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't think there's much else, is there? Um, we didn't see Hunter in this. I honestly thought when they were, when Luce was saying about inside person, I thought Hunter. But I guess, like, Luce was very desperate. And because she saw Kiki was kind of in a similar situation as her with the family and having to choose between worlds and everything that she immediately thought, okay, I can get through to Kiki and, because like, we could... You know, become not friends with her, but like have a common thing and stuff and be able to relate. Um, because I was like, wait a bit, the person you have inside the coven, right? Or not coven, but in the king's empire, right? Or, or the emperor's king, emperor, whatever. When you have Bellos's uh kingdom, uh, castle and stuff, you have hunters. So I'm like, I would think hunter would be your best bet. So, but of course, because Kiki again, Luce was relating to Kiki in that moment, she went with Kiki, which. Surprise, surprise, you got backstabbed by her. Um, yeah, other than that, I feel like, yeah, things are ramp starting to ramp up in the story. Um, and they definitely left it off with the, you know, we take it one day at a time, or one episode at a time for us. Um, but yeah, uh, great episode. Um, I usually give, I, I think I actually forgot to give my thoughts for the Dragon Prince uh, episode when it comes to, like, the plot character, like, plot characters, animation and stuff, but, um, um, overall, I would say plot was great. Characters were great. Um, I don't know how to feel about Tara yet. I feel like I didn't get to see enough of her to really be like, oh, I like her. I don't like, I feel like she is a threat. Like, she's scary because having control of plants is like, what if we're going to have a Willow Tara fight? Like, as a, like, final fight kind of thing, I wonder. Mm. Or see the two of them team up if Tara does switch sides. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, characters are great. Animation was great. Music was great. Um, overall, great episode, uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts for it. I hope you enjoy this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. Links, description, and pinned comments below. But anyway, have a wonderful morning, afternight, and keep bringing bright. See ya!